the sum of a number and twice another. <coughs> so actually in this case of does not mean times, because it says the sum of, which means add it. Sum. So the sum of a number and twice another number. What does sum mean? a number, which is x, to y, which is and y. twice, which is two times, another number, which we could write y. So the sum of a number and twice another number would be x plus 2y. You guys see that? We're trying to follow along the sentence, one step at a time. A number, that's x twice, that's two, another number, that's y. But because we have this sum thing out front, it's telling us we're adding this and this. It's going to be the same thing with the word product, right? The product of two times a number and seven. How would I write this? The product. So I know that I am doing what? When I see product. Product means Okay, I'm going to write it as parentheses. Product of two times a number. How would I write two times a number? Two and then x inside the parentheses. Two x and seven. So seven is, it doesn't really matter in this case which one I put here and which one I put here. But I'm just following it literally. Two times a number, so I'm putting that first, and seven. Now, sometimes you'll want to actually put parentheses around both of both sets of them. Okay. <laughs> All right. Can I erase this? To be in English. Always means what in math? Equals. Equals. So there's lots of forms of to be. We could have is, was, will be, are, etc. Any any form of to be is, was, will be, are, were. Uh, those are the most common ones, I guess. Any form of that means equals. So if I say a number is the sum of five and seven, how can I write this as a mathematical statement? Key is to start at the beginning. A number. How do I write a number? In math. X. So I've done that. Is. How do I write is? Equals. Okay. The sum, so I know I'm adding two things together. Five and seven. The and is where I put the, the plus sign, right? Five plus seven. 
I know that n means plus because of sum. Let me show you what I mean by that. A number is the product of um, 8 and 6. So start at the beginning of the sentence. A number. What do I write for a number? X is equals the product of. Okay, I know I will be multiplying. So I have 8 times 6, or 8 times 6 like this. Whichever way you want to write it. The reason that we use parentheses, and that you want to get in the habit of parentheses, sometimes you'll have to use the distributive property. We're not going to get into that today. So using parentheses to show multiplication is a really good habit to get. In this case, it doesn't really matter. Because 8 times 6, whether we have parentheses or not, is still 8 times 6. Okay. But I'm just trying to set you up for the good habit of using parentheses to show multiplication. It's going to be a good habit for things that we do later. Or, as you saw, for some things that we've already done. All right. Do you guys have questions? about this question.